666 will be embedded, its number hidden, into a chip which you will be forced to accept just as you would any vaccination. Friday, June 1, 2012 at 8.15 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter, the Antichrist, is preparing, already, his peace plan which he will introduce soon after the wars become widespread in the Middle East and when the pain and terrible anguish means there is no sign of hope. Then he will appear suddenly and announce himself to the world as a man of peace, a bright jewel which will sparkle in the midst of darkness. As he emerges he will be seen as one of the most charismatic political leaders of all time. His handsome, appealing and caring personality will fool the majority of people. He will exude love and compassion and will be seen to be Christian. In time he will draw many followers who will grow in their numbers so that he becomes like me, the Messiah. He will be seen to promote unity among all nations and he will be loved in almost every country in the world. Then he will be seen to have supernatural skills. Many will believe that he has been sent by my Father and that he is me, Jesus Christ, Savior of the world. They will pray to him, love him, give up their lives for him and he will laugh and mock them when they cannot see him. This will be the biggest deception of all time and the plan is to steal your souls, to take you away from me. He and the false prophet, who will sit like a king in the seat of Peter, will secretly plot a one world religion. This will appear to be a Christian type religion which promotes love. It will, however, not promote love of one another which comes from God. Instead it will promote love and allegiance to the Antichrist and love of oneself. The abomination does not stop therefore when they have seduced God's children the attack will begin. Suddenly all will be asked to accept the one world mark of allegiance. The united world which all men will have to partake in. It will control your money, your access to food and how you live. Rules, many of them will mean that you will become prisoners. The key to yourself, which keeps you under their control, will be the mark of the beast. 666 will be embedded, its number hidden, into a chip which you will be forced to accept just as you would any vaccination. Once embedded it will poison, not only your mind and soul, but your body for it will cause a plague designed to wipe out much of the world's population. You must not accept the mark. Instead I will instruct you what to do. Many will accept the mark because they will feel helpless. The seal of the living God, my crusade prayer 33 is your lifeline. When you receive my seal of protection, given to you by my eternal Father, you will not have to accept the mark. You will not be touched. Your home will not be seen, searched or a target for it will be rendered invisible in the eyes of Satan's army. You will need to keep food hidden which will last a few years. You will need to grow your own crops, store your own water and keep all holy objects around you. My remnant church will grow and spread out and you will be given shelter if it is needed. Much planning is needed now. Those who laugh at what you do, or say, surely Jesus would not ask you to do this. Does he not supply all his followers at their time of need? Even one loaf and one fish can be multiplied. So it does not matter if you only have some food for I will protect you and you will be safe. Pray hard for those souls who will be unable to avoid the mark. Those innocent souls will be saved who are in a state of grace at the time of being forced to accept the chip. The rest of you must plan to protect your family and your allegiance to the Holy Eucharist and the Mass. When the Antichrist devours all religions the only weapons which he will be powerless against is the Holy Mass and the transubstantiation of the bread and wine into my body and blood in the Holy Eucharist my masses must continue. 
Those of you who know this must gather in numbers now and start the preparations. The sooner you prepare the more graces you will be given to grow your ranks around the world. The rock will become laden with a new building which they say will be my new temple. But this is untrue. But when the persecution ends my remnant church and my chosen people will have the temple rebuilt and my new Jerusalem will come down from heaven. She will descend in glory. The trumpets will be heard in heaven and on earth at the same time. And then I will come. You, my daughter will herald my arrival and many will fall on the ground and weep with relief, love and joy in ecstasy. For, at last the moment they have been waiting for you. The skies will light up, the thunder will heal and the choirs of angels will sing in sweet unison as all God's children will welcome the true Messiah. I, Jesus Christ, will come to judge, and the heavens and the earth will become one. The new glorious splendor, the renewed earth, will emerge and the new paradise will embrace all those whose names are in the book of the living who will unite as one. And while the end of the old earth, soiled with the stain of sin, will have come to an end the new era is only beginning. This is what you must strive for. This is what you are entitled to as part of your natural inheritance. Only focus on the saving of all souls. This is why you must ignore the obstacles presented to you. The persecution. The pain. The horror of evil by the hands of others. All that matters is the saving of souls. Your Savior Jesus Christ.